Uh, All right, Mister. Uh, so you are the mastermind behind Borden.io. I, I am. am. Stream. Thank you. So, tell me a little about it. Uh, yeah, sure. So boredom kind of stems from a, a, a passion project that started when I was at Facebook in 2011. I had an internship there, and uh, chess was like a really big part of the culture there. So we, we played a variant of chess called Bug House, which is basically like 2v2, and whenever you capture a piece, you give it to your teammate. So it was, uh, it was really intense. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun, and I've been playing chess since then. So yeah, so I was playing chess, and I, you know, I saw merit in these other games like Checkers and Reversi. Uh, there's, you know, Nefetafel, which is what we're going to be playing for a little bit today, which is a really cool Viking board game. Um, and yeah, I, I saw, you know, there were there were decent solutions to play these games to play chess online, and then for all the other ones, it was really rough. So I decided to, you know, make a uh, like a consistent experience uh, for for all these games because you know like re pretty much they're they're all you know they're they're all fairly similar like you have a, a board and then you make a move and then your opponent makes a move so uh, you know I I saw a big opportunity there and it's you know it's something that I've been playing on myself for quite a while so it's really uh, uh, I I saw a need for it and I had the ability to make it and. It was it was a lot of fun. It's it's been fun this whole time. Uh, yeah. All righty. Well, I'm excited. I've actually dabbled along on this for quite a bit um, while I'm at work. I hope my boss isn't listening. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's he he was mentioning. Yeah, it creates the opportunity to play with people, and ha I, for one, love the fact that I can come back and the people are still there. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, fun fact, actually, I, I think a lot of people like to play at work and at school. Um, so I noticed with my analytics, uh, I think this was around a year ago, that um, activity was really hot in one of the eastern states in the U.S. And then all of a sudden, it just like dropped down to zero. <laughs> uh, and what happened was, actually, people were playing the game so much at the school that it got banned. Which was, and there's the drop in activity. Yeah, which was which was funny. Uh, but then they started playing on their own time and they got around it. So uh, nice, nice. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Not that it, you know, it's making kids distracted from their education, but the fact that people are enjoying it that much. Right. Well, you know, they're learning things on the site too. I hope. Alrighty. So why don't we go ahead and start again? Yeah. Uh, so I think. I think you know you've. I think we've struggled through a few games together already, but mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. so yeah, we're playing a Viking board game called Nefetafel right now. Uh, maybe I guess we'll slowly explain the rules as we play. Uh, so I just made a move. And All right, so you're on the outside. Yeah, so you're trying to get your king, the little guy in the middle, to one of the corners, and all these pieces kind of move like chess works, but the, the capturing is a little bit different. Yeah, hold on, I'm just trying to resize my window so it sure. fits properly, there we go. Alright, um, let's go with... Don't ask me what a good opening move is, because I don't know it. <laughs> oh, I, I like it, I, uh, like we said earlier, I played a couple of games on my own, mm -hmm. and for the most part I think the opponents that I play with and they never chat when I respond when I ask any questions, mm. but they're always they're always seeming to make the same mistakes. So I'm guessing they're all new. Most of the people I play against. And oh. now, does that matter? Because we have a ranking. I saw. And I'm assuming that is kind of your matchmaking system. Uh yeah. Well, so the okay. So a lot of question, a lot of questions there. So. <laughs> um, it, it's a new game to the site, and you know most people in the U.S. and I guess the world population have probably never heard of this game before. So, uh, so my users actually did a pretty good job of figuring out the rules to begin with. Um, so this is how you capture pieces: you sandwich them, and then boom, it's gone. The king's a little harder to capture; you need to be on all sides. Um, right. So yeah. So the, the 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 game's fairly new to the site. Uh, people kind of figured it out, but I, I I think there's only probably one or two 
good players on here, like uh, one of the one of the usual one of the usual players, like Dangerous Dove, um, is on here. Yeah, I've said that name. Yeah, he's uh, he. So I I I can only manage to win as the the green guys. The uh, I guess you call them the defenders, um, and he just manages to crush me on both sides. Um, um, right, and then, yeah, so you were asking some questions, uh, did you, did, what was the question that you asked? Uh, the ranking and matchmaking. Right, uh, yeah, so ranking, uh, right now, it's, uh, it's ELO based, so it's, uh, you know, similar to the way that ratings are handled on, like, in chess and in tournaments, um, working on adding some more intelligence to that so it can, you know, find your rank a little bit faster. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, so everyone starts out at, I think, 1,000. And uh, you see I'm a little bit lower than 1,000. That's because I've mainly been playing Dangerous Dove and he's been kicking my butt. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, the matchmaking right now is actually um, one of the things that we're working on quite a bit. Uh, well, focusing on right now, um, figuring out what to work on, and you know, if you're if you're interested in giving some feedback, uh, we're having a, a stream on the Boredom underscore IO channel uh, at 2 p.m. Pacific time, uh, where you know, users, you yeah, users can uh, can weigh in on whatever they want, um, and that's going to be one of the big one of the big topics. Uh, so right now, matchmaking is greedy, so it it will pair up anyone with anyone uh, whenever it can. So. All right. Did you move? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. So there should be a little orange glow around your board to let you know that I... Oh, that hey, time. yeah, there is. So the UI is another thing I wanted to point out, everybody. Yeah. Um, it's really smooth. It's really easy on the eyes. Really simple to just navigate right off the bat. You log in, click, click, click. Your hand and your eyes are in sync. Mm -hmm. I like it. And then little indicators like that, which I didn't know what it was, to be honest, but <laughs> oh. glowing borders are nice. Yeah, I think, I think it really shines when you have, you know, 10 or so games. You can jump on and make a move, and then there's a thing that comes up right in the middle that says, you know, go to your next game. Uh, and uh, it, it, uh, it, it's really optimized for that right now, for the kind of correspondence, casual gameplay. Uh, hmm. So, yeah, looking to make it work well for the short, like, play-in-one-sitting timed games as well. This poor piece over here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so generally... Getting bullied. Yeah, He's getting bullied. Yeah, my, my strategy is going to be to kind of trap you as much as I can. Uh, no, it won't happen. Uh, I don't know, it kind of looks like it's going to... Bully. <laughs> with the way Bully. It's going. Yeah. Hmm, all right, let's see if I can change things up. Uh, I just don't have a lot of directions to go right now. Exactly, yeah, it's because I'm <laughs> <laughs> wrapping around you. What is it, like a, a python? The snake that... Oh, yeah, the ones that constrict. Anac no, it's the boa. The boa. Anaconda. Boa constrictor, okay. Yeah. Um... Mm. Yeah, so right, so this is a this is a Viking board game called Nefetafel. Um and yeah, so kind of my metric for, for games on here is that um, uh, the game is you know like two player, um, and it's really a game that you can kind of like devote a lifetime to and not really master. So chess is one of those obviously, but a lot of people don't realize that actually checkers and pretty much all of its variants are as well. Uh, Reversi, uh, this this board Sorry. game Nefetafel, you know, there's Shogi, which is a Japanese version of uh, chess. Backgammon, um, there's a there's a ton of them. Uh, so. so here's a question. Yeah. What happens if you surround me, and I can't move? Yeah. Um, so I believe that if you can't move, uh, you lose. Um, I could I could check the source code or <laughs> the rules online, uh, but. Yeah, I had all the rules in my head at one point, and I'm pretty sure that's that's what that's what happens. Uh, I mean, so. we may find out at this rate. Exactly. Yeah, or you know, we may may find a bug. 
or two while we're playing. Because <laughs> I know you found one. Mm. Fast, but yeah, hopefully I, I that was that was fixed. I haven't I haven't seen that happen since then. I mean, this is not loading well for me. <laughs> no. Um. Okay. So that might be a little bit of a breakout. I'm escaping. <laughs> run, little king, run. Yeah, slowly. Uh, yeah, and by the way, none of neither of us know what we're doing. Uh, I think both of us have like less than ten games under our belt. A very important game, or piece of knowledge. Yeah. For those watching. Okay, it looks like I am moments away from sealing your fate. And then, yeah, it should be straightforward to just trap you completely if I get this around. So I'm actually using Firefox for this stream right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I normally use Chrome, and actually, uh, I haven't been testing with Firefox lately. Uh, I noticed that the SSL certificates have an issue. So if you go to boredom.io with Firefox, it says like, "Warning: the site is untrusted," uh, just because what they look for is slightly different than other other browsers. Um, so that's something I need to fix. And there's also like a, a weirdness where if you double click and then Let's see if I can reproduce it. If you double click and then drag, you can kind of like drag the background image around. Oh really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. because they're yeah, they allow you to highlight. Yeah, so that's one thing I'm gonna work on. Okay, cool. This is I I don't know if this is the best move. It's probably not, but I'm gonna capture I'm gonna try to capture three of your pieces at the same time. There we go. I'd say that's a pretty good move. Yeah, well I I, I, I guess this is probably one for me either way uh, but actually now that the king is moving that's a little nerve wracking so why doesn't it like do I have to move out and then back to capture this piece that you just moved in between yeah yeah right so so you can only capture whenever you move your piece into like sandwiching something um, mm -hmm. yeah so I'm you know figuring out kind of good ways to uh, teach people how to play these these games. Uh, Alright, so there, you're dead now. Oh, I didn't <laughs> see that. No, no! Yeah, uh, yeah, with these games, like, a lot of the time it's just, like, hard to see the moves because there's just so much... Uh, the board is actually, I think, what, 11 by 11? Uh, which is notably bigger than most board games, like chess and checkers, uh, well, American drops, uh, American checkers. Mm -hmm. Reversity traditionally is played on like an eight by eight board. Um, games like Go. Have you ever played Go? Yeah, a long time ago. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, Go is really interesting. Um, I think it's like for beginners, it's played on like a thirteen by thirteen board, and then for uh, more serious play, it's played on I believe I'm not sure. I think it's a nineteen by nineteen board. So. Yeah, that is that is ridiculous because there's just so much stuff, uh, <laughs> so much stuff going on there. Um, I also uh, really like it's a single player, but the game uh, Chinese Solitaire, I believe. Okay. It's like all the balls on the circular board, and you just jump pieces. I'm not familiar with until that. Until there's one marble left. Okay, is that kind of like? Oh, okay. So you're taking your. Oh no, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I. I... I I'd seen those at Cracker Barrel, like the little triangle with you when you you don't jump your little pegs. Is that what you're talking uh, about? Kind of. I'll send you a picture when I... Okay, I'm so afraid. a little bit different than that. Uh, yeah, so Go is really interesting. Uh, unfortunately, right now I don't see a good way to add it to this site because uh, Go is such a complex game that given a board, like a position like with the pieces um, all over the board, Given mm -hmm. uh, a certain board position, uh, it's actually uh, not reliably computationally possible to figure out who is winning. Um, 
<laughs> or who has won. So, so in like professional play, this isn't an issue because you know people can look at the board and say, oh well, you know white is clearly won and black is just wasting time if they keep moving, um, um, and that's not really an issue uh, in professional play. But online, it's a little bit different. So. Uh, what I've seen on a few sites um, with newer players primarily um, is that you get into this kind of like stalemate where mm -hmm. you know they're playing and you know like one person may be lost but like neither of them really know that so they're just making you know dozens of moves and there's <laughs> there's like no end in sight uh, and yeah and, and go is in kind of such a way where Technically, I think you can actually. Well, there's if if you repeat a position, um, the the game can be drawn. But yeah, so even with that rule, you know, a game can go on for not not pra not a, not a, not practically not like when people know what they're doing. But a game technically could go on for like I think tens of thousands of moves. So hey, where are you going? I am I am running away. <laughs> Yeah, so I think you just have one move that saves, saves yourself. Yeah, you wanted to, to move here. So. All right. Feeling good. Oh, that was your king? That was my king, yeah. Let's get the diamond. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was just one of the, the standard pieces. I wasn't paying attention to that. Wow. Yeah, maybe it needs, uh, it needs a little bit more vis different visual treatment. All right, okay, yeah, I'm first. Okay, okay. I You totally snuck out without me even realizing. I was just like, oh, there's a piece just moving. I thought you were trying to, like, counter no, me. No cause for alarm. I was way too focused on the just taking any piece. Yeah. Well, all right, in that case, let's see if I can be as good as that. Okay. So that seems, seems decent. You're taking a lot of space. And yeah, so what I what I my my first kind of instinct was to like, if you're if you're the attackers, if you're green, was like, well, I have fewer pieces, I, I can't lose any. Uh, but I'm not sure that that's the case because I think it's better to be aggressive and take that space so your so your king can move around um, early on. Uh, I think it's my just cat, getting my, out. I think my cat is side because she's locked. This out seems of the room. to be the problem. Yeah, it's it's uh it's tricky and uh, yeah, there's some kind of different rules when it comes to this throne, the middle middle tile being like hostile or not, um, and helping with captures. So I guess I'll go there. Oh, I see what you did there. That's sneaky. Yeah. Can you can you hear my cat? Mm -mm. Okay, that's good. Well, okay. Hmm. Man. Yeah. So there's a there's a something in I guess. Kind of the study of board games called, or I guess graphs, called a, like a branching factor, which um, in this context is the number of moves available uh, at any time. So in chess, you know, that's anywhere between, you know, like 10 That's or a lot of moves to calculate. Yeah, yeah. In chess, it's like anywhere between 10 or 15. With uh, connect four, it's like the, just the number of rows, so, uh, mm -hmm. so that, or columns, uh, so that's like seven. Uh, here, it's probably. Uh, I don't know, maybe like 50 to 100 or so, uh, which, yeah, completely kind of changes how you have to think about the game, because you can't really think about every possibility. All right, let's see if we can get a get, get away. We're playing Netafel, by the way, right? Netafel? Uh, I think it's pronounced Nefetafel. Nefetafel, that's my, yeah. my bad. 
Uh, and I'm, I'm calling it, on, on the site, I'm calling it Toffle for short, which I believe is kind of a name. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Yeah, the, the family of games. Because, yeah, when I was discovering this game, you know, I was in kind of like the, the Wikipedia mode where, you know, like you, you, you find a page and then, you know, go to another page. So you're not really, like, paying too much attention to any single page. So I saw this name, and I read it probably five or so times, and I had, like, an idea of what it was, how it was supposed to be pronounced in my head. And it, t it took me a little while to actually, like, take the time and look through the word and then figure out how you actually say it. So I'm, like, 90% sure it's Nefetafel, but maybe wrong. <laughs> One day we'll find somebody who is like, oh, yeah, I played that growing up. Yeah. One day and then I... we'll know how to pronounce oh, awesome. the game. Exactly. But, hello, yeah. Kampf. Hello, Andrea. Hellbreaker, how's it going, my man? Sorry, I've been totally ignoring chat. Yeah. Uh, haven't played in years. Oh yeah, Comp, we're gonna have to get some games in. For sure. Also, for anybody who would like to play while they watch, all you gotta do is go to Borden.io, make an account, sign in, all you need is an email. Yeah. There's no spam. Actually, uh, you don't even need to make an account. So. Well, tech, okay, so... If you want to rematch and replay and keep track of your stats, I suggest you make an account. In fact, you should make an account anyways, just because, <laughs> you know, it's good to have one. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay. Mm. We're doing this. I should We're doing this. Yeah. So I can't put my piece here. You can only put your king on that little middle tile. Uh, this is actually looking a lot more dangerous for me. I think you might have a... Ch oh, shit. That was probably bad. Um, yeah, this is scary. This is scary. <laughs> uh, okay. And by the way, the corner is like mm -hmm. hostile, and hostile means like it's it's when it comes to capturing capturing like a hostile tile means like the piece is there or it, it's 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 kind of as if a piece is there. Uh, if that makes sense, I don't mm -hmm. feel like I did a good job explaining that. So. No, I'm still kind of confused. Okay. So, like, if I go here, and then you go here, I think that'll capture this piece. So, oh, once you've done okay. that, then I have nothing here defending. So, I think you can win in, uh, I guess, what, like, two moves now? So, yeah, if you go next to that. So, if I move here, it'll capture your piece. Yeah, or that way, too, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, so, I, was, I, wasn't, cool. I wasn't just making that up. <laughs> To, to sabotage your game. I mean, that's, that's a really interesting All right. feature. I mean, it does make it so it's, like, not impossible to get there, because I can see red easily cornering off. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's actually a few different rule variants, and we're using kind of the the one that's been adopted by, like, the, the world uh, tournament. Um, right. So, Look I don't know. Do you have time for, like... Yeah. So, <laughs> the, okay, cool. Oh, your rank is higher than mine. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was whispering to my chat. I was like, look at that, I'm beating him. That's great, you're beating the, the creator. Yeah, and your rank was even lower than mine when we started. Okay, so you were first. Uh, um, so did I, but I believe mine was a higher level. Oh, that's right, you guys were both doing that earlier. I was asleep when that happened. Oh, I'm red. Whoops, my bad. All right. Uh, oop, there's, the, there's the dragging bug on but the platform. As I was saying earlier, I'm joined here by my man Matt. He's uh, the mastermind behind this game. Uh, not behind well, the this game. Website, behind this website. website. Yeah, I, I, I had no Apologies. <laughs> behind boredom.io. I consider boredom.io the platform. Yeah, yeah. I, I had uh, no part in creating this <laughs> masterful Nefetafel game, but I did implement it on this site. I wonder how long it took them to make this game. Uh, this game specifically, actually, uh, in terms of, well, so I, I was, when I was working on it, I was doing a bunch of different things at the same time, but <laughs> hours-wise, it was probably around 10 hours to write the code and uh, create the artwork. So, fairly quick. Alright, I'm red, that's right. Yep. I'm capturing green. Yeah, so maybe there's also some kind of visual stuff that I can do to make it uh, a little more obvious who you are um, when you're playing. 
Because I know that can be really confusing, especially if you're switching like between a bunch of games. Like a lot of. Well, I noticed on mobile when I return, mm -hmm. it'll say it's your turn, and then it'll kind of highlight whatever. I I think it'll highlight one of the pieces, won't it? Uh. So I always find it easier to play or discern things like that on the mobile. I, I don't see. know if it's just. It's yeah, I I, th I think uh, there's not really any kind of special <sighs> cases when it comes to mobile versus like desktop behavior. It's just that. Excuse me. Um, it's it's really based off of like the screen size. So yeah, there I think there are some kind of special things that happen when the screen is <laughs> smaller. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I don't know. Those might be good moves because maybe I'm just like wasting time. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I that's probably a bad move. I don't know. Um, Hellbreaker. All you have to do is go to the website, sign in, and then you can play. And you can play me. And then you can fulfill both the quota of missing board games. Yeah, so yeah, so actually you can go to like boredom.io slash play slash either Matt or Ryusuke uh, to play with one of us. Uh, I That's think true. Gonna... That's true. Yeah. Uh, we so, can match up. Yeah, so the, the this was really kind of made to like lower the friction, make it like as easy as possible to join and play with friends or invite people that haven't played before. Um, and right now, yeah, the site doesn't really do a good job or really good job at all of explaining how these games are played. Um, so that's kind of trial and error right now, or maybe you looking up on you reading about it yourself. Um, but, you know, hopefully we'll have some stuff soon to, to make it where you can actually learn how to play the game on the site uh, hmm. without just stumbling through it and getting wrecked. <laughs> Much like we're doing right now. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know if I'm doing good or not. That's the problem. I, I don't know either. My my chess instincts mm. tell me that That's this good. is a slightly favorable favorable position for me. But I don't know. I see you making that escape route. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Um... <laughs> I know it's random, but I can just say that British addresses are weird. I wrote a few postcards yesterday because some of my friends are British and I was struggling. I had no autocorrect, but that's the whole other problem. Hey, Corona Rob, thanks for watching. You're what? you're writing postcards on autocorrect, which means you're using a computer. Is that a postcard or is that an email? Maybe they call it postcards <laughs> where he lives. That's true. There, there may be different terminology. <laughs> I should not assume. Um, yeah, oh, man, so one of my users that I was playing with this morning, uh, and actually had some some good ideas around around the site, uh, is watching right now. His, his name's Chrono Rub, um, and yeah, he su he suggested Shogi, which is like a Japanese variant of, uh, mm -hmm. of chess. Mm -hmm. I guess, I'm not I'm not sure if variant is the right way to, to to say that because I think they might be more ancestors and not necessarily like one is a descendant of the other. I think they have like a common ancestor. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I, I need to refresh all that kind of in my mind, but at one point I had an idea of kind of oh, the, no. the history so of, uh, of all these, these board games. Hmm. All right. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, <laughs> I'm closing in. I don't have very many pieces. <laughs> I, uh, you are closing in, totally. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. I'm munching on food, so I'm trying to mute my mic when I eat. Oh, nice. Hopefully your stream is getting uh, a mouthful of food in the webcam. No, I have that off today. All right. I'm not really a morning person, so my hair is like a mess and whatever. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not turn my camera on. I see, I see. Yeah, I've got I've got my webcam on, but I'm trying to. Uh, I am kind of practicing. Well, it's my first my first stream, so wanted to make sure that everything worked, including the webcam. No, I totally, I totally understand that. Yeah, so it looks like I won. 
Oh no! <laughs> no! You're supposed to go this way! Yeah, well I didn't. No! <laughs> Dang it! Yeah, you can't move there. So I can move here or here. So I have two ways oh to man, I left that wide open! Yeah. Alright. Dang, um, it's hard to close it on all sides. Totally. Uh, I liked your idea with the whole wrapping around me slowly. Mm -hmm. Well, I actually had a. I was playing. I was playing a dangerous dub again one time, and what he did was he. I and I was I was playing him, and I did, I just wasn't really paying attention to his like game strategy at all. I was kind of more so thinking tactically or attempting mm -hmm. to think tactically. <laughs> um, and no, he like yeah there. he like blocked off the corners, so he kind of did surround me, but instead of like surrounding me in a little area, he surrounded me like on the whole board where there was no way that I could just get there was no way that I could capture any of these pieces or get to the corner. So at that point I was like, well Ouch, that move just hurt. Yeah. That goes half my board. <laughs> Not quite. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to see those moves. We're gonna we're gonna start off over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't capture that one. Hello, Yoko. How's it going? Why not playing a No Man's Sky with me, Hugo and Deloon? Because I am playing this awesome game. No, I was writing normal postcards with... I still don't get the autocorrect if you're using a pen. Deloon said you're not allowed to grow up and do adult stuff. All right, I will attempt not to do so. Why, where is he? Why isn't he here? But I wish I had to autocorrect for them. Oh, okay. So you're saying you wish you had that for your... That makes sense. Um, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. So they don't call like email postcards. Because I'm sure I made a few errors. Uh, I miss seeing your face. Uh, I'll turn it on one, one of these days. The funny thing is, is I have like two high quality cameras just pointing at my window right now for the beautiful... In fact, I can turn on my beautiful sunny day camera. You're doing like a... Um, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Like a, like a snapshot every hour? Some kind of time lapse? <laughs> well, usually when I'm... Oh, I didn't mean to move that. Mm. I meant to put it back on the square zone. My bad. I see. Yeah, so there's actually uh, there's one feature in Lee Chess, which uh, Lee Chess is obviously a place to play chess. Um, it's actually open source, and they have this feature that I'm not quite sure if I like or not. So they have a... Um, so they have something where you can give like a, a take back. Which for me, like, have, have, do you do you watch The Simpsons? Did Did you see the one where like Homer goes to the casino and he's like, "Oh, I want a do-over," and then the one of the guys working at the casino says, "Sorry, the house limit is two do-overs." Like, <laughs> to me, to I me, don't remember that particular episode, but I do watch The Simpsons. Okay, <laughs> to me that just seems so like strange to have that. Um, mm -hmm. And kind of like I guess the principle of good like user experience design is you want to catch the error before it happens instead of make it easier to like fix the error. So in this case the error is like making a wrong move, like on it, like like my mouse slips or something like that. Um, uh, touch screen, yeah. I'm glad that you have the uh, the double tap to confirm. Yeah, exactly. So you so you've seen that. <laughs> uh, Without that I would be messing up so much. Yeah, so that was something that I actually spent a lot of time thinking thinking through. Um, okay, shit, I think you can do kind of the same thing you did last time. Uh, mm -hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. Uh, yeah. Uh. Just rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing against you, yeah. Oh my god, you're evil. <laughs> hey, I have to, like, take... Everything I can out of my small victories. <laughs> small victories? You've won twice in a row, and what do you rank as? I lost a point. Did you? I think that's because you won the last one, didn't you? Uh, you snuck, oh, okay. You snuck away to the I, side? I guess so, yeah. Alright, who goes first? You. Me. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's... With whatever I'm doing, that drag, that weird dragging thing happens whenever I start a new game, pretty often. Noticing a little bug? Yeah, it was the one I was telling you where you can like actually drag the background. Oh, yeah, 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 on Firefox. 
I want one of those autocorrect quills that they have in Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, it's actually not showing up <laughs> on my stream, so I think they're probably wondering, like, what the heck are you talking about? But with my mouse that I'm moving right now, I'm actually, like, dragging a copy of the board itself. Uh, so how are you capturing it? Are you capturing your desktop and then... Or are you capturing your browser? Ooh, there's another bug. Uh, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm capturing my browser and I'm cropping the, the source. Um, to okay, get rid of yeah, like, yeah. the menu bar and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll probably move around, move this around a little bit. And like right here, the player move indicator with like the what piece they are and their online status and name and, and uh, time left and rank. Um, this space is not used very efficiently, especially in kind of the layout that I have. So you've got your name, it's like a 12 point font, and this huge, what, I don't know. Yeah, when I had my pixel. full screen, I had an ultra wide, so there's a lot of blank space. Yeah. So, yeah, it, I can definitely make some big changes to the layout. I think, like, if you have a really big screen, then I could just show kind of all your games on the left side, and it'll be more of a similar experience, I guess, to like the the Facebook Messenger, like on on desktop. I did see that you integrated. Um. Facebook login? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah so I don't know Facebook, so I never use it. But yeah, yeah so good. so that's... I, I don't really use anything with the Facebook API right now. Um, at some point, I might, you know, like, say, hey, here's one of your friends, and they're on Facebook. Um, oh, whoops. And so you guys maybe could play each other. Um, it's, it's right now mainly just a way to, like, not have to remember another password. So actually, I, I think only a couple months ago, I added like a reset password functionality. So my my users did a pretty good job of not forgetting their passwords for like a year, <laughs> which is impressive. I have a great thing called password saver. Yeah, or or yeah, or having the the uh, fourth like to to use a password manager. No, for work there are hundreds of passwords I have to remember. Mm. If I didn't have some sort of manager, I would be like, "Oh, my brain." Mm -hmm. Yeah, what uh, I've what I've seen at companies is they just have like a big Google Doc of all their logins, and oof, that makes me. That's another method. Yeah, that makes me fear so, for their. No, I didn't mean okay. Uh, hmm. I feel like this and this move are decent. Defense. Defense. No. Okay. <laughs> you gonna look for a bit? Already come. No worries. Also, where are my Pokemon? How come there's no Pokemon on my screen? Hmm. What your like Poke Cord Discord plugin? No, there's a, a oh, like a, Steam like Workshop a Pikachu running like on the software side. You can buy a program called Stream Avatars. Okay, and it allows you to import like a little tiny eight bit models for uh, in this for this example. I have a bunch of Pokemon, I and see. subscribers will get a Pokemon that represents them, and they can change the Pokemon and make it do little dances and things. So it's like a it's Neopet. Like a little avatar on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Not, not yeah. Neopet. Like, what do you, what do you call it? Is, is that what you... No, Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. Oh, yeah. That'll never die. Oh. I, I, I never kept my Tamagotchi alive. But yes, these will never die. Yeah. They're just to represent the people on the stream, like a visual aspect saying, hey, look, uh, for example, Hellbreaker's in the room, and he has himself represented as an Articuno. Uh, there's a Squirtle on the screen. There's a Farfetch'd. I chose the Farfetch'd. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. Maybe I could do something. But you can also like, like if you if you if you're really good at making them, you can make your own, or you can just download from other users, like from the Steam Workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, Digimon. I've seen uh, like Shrek characters. The movie. Um, I mean, I've seen people make all sorts of things. Nice. There's a whole bunch of dogs and cats, of course. Yeah, so I've made a made a actually made a Twitch extension before. Uh, so I'm thinking not not for boredom, but I'm thinking I might do some really interesting Twitch feature with like an extension or 
maybe like a Streamlabs plugin. I don't know. So many things to build, so little time. Uh, I just don't know. So, uh, how 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 long have you been playing chess? On and off since I was probably about like fourth grade. Cool, cool. So, have you ever played like a, a, a player that's like way stronger than you and just been absolutely crushed? All the time. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I play chess. I think, like, on chess.com and Lee Chess, I'm rated around... Oh, no, I see what you're doing. No. Uh oh no. I'm rated, like, a, like a 1600. So, like, not that great, but, like, better than, like, I guess, like, a casual player. Um, and there, I, I'm, I, I live uh, near San Francisco. Good game. Good game, yeah. Um, I well, guess. let's show the, uh, the viewers the other stuff. Let's go home. Okay. All right, so here's the dashboard for those of you that are watching. When you like, whoops, wrong. One. So, so that's a way to search for users, by the way. But I just accidentally clicked. Yeah. Um, but this is the dashboard. You got your ranks. You got favorites, aka people you've played with before and or you want to play with again. I play with a couple of the players, although they haven't been on lately. Oh, I should, uh, I should star you. Yeah, yeah. How do you do that? How do you star someone? Oh, um. I, I thought you should be able to see it on the, the, on the game view, but if you go to their profile, if you click on their name or whatever, there's a, mm -hmm. a little favorite button. And I, I need to I change this. This, is, this isn't too really obvious the way it works right now. Oh, yeah, and then it has our previous chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, actually, uh, that was actually kind of a suggestion by, like, a, a feature, a suggestion by one of my users. So, like, you know, they said, uh, well, like, whenever we play, uh, you know, I... I want. I don't want like the chat to just get blown away. Um, mm -hmm. And so what I did, like I, I kind of listened to that and I thought about like kind of the whole whole system and I came up with this thing where like each message has a context. So a message sent in like one game has a little piece that tells you it was sent from that sent from that game, and you can click on that message and it'll take you to that game. Um, so that's nice. That's pretty, ha gross. pretty happy with that. And then if you're yeah, pretty happy with how that works. Oh, whoops. Oh. So those are archived games, I'm clicking. Yeah. And I, then... I can kind of see what you're up to, because it says you like Toffel right now, because you played a lot of those. And it said a few seconds ago you were playing chess, so you must have been looking at a chess game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we got Checkers, Chess, Reverse C4, and Toffel, as we were playing earlier. You can find people, you can invite people, share, it's all right here. Really easy, easy to click. Facebook, if you if you got that platform, I don't. So I don't know what that looks like when you connect it. But um, these are my past games, archive games. Most of them are Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. let's go with uh, um, let's go with reverse. -y. All right, you're gonna challenge me to reverse a game. Yeah, by you, casual checkers reverse. -y. Cool. Let's see if I did a good enough job for you. You to be able to figure this out without me helping. Oh, I don't think I did it right. Oh, did you create a game for like public, like a public game? I said invite friend. All right. Well, that just gave me a link. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat. Yeah, because the, the that's like if you want to invite a game, someone that's not really on here necessarily. So I'm, I'm gonna cheat and I'm just gonna invite you to a okay. reverse game. So that should, should there show up now. Yeah. And uh, actually, in the last couple of weeks, the animation messed up. You can't really, it's kind of hard to tell, but there should be like a piece. The piece doesn't animate out correctly. Uh, but I'll, I'll fix that soon enough. Um, and this, so the strategy in reverse, -y, I don't know how much reverse -y you play, but um, my braiding, I think, on here is what? 1200, so marginally better than the average player, I guess. Um, so you want to, yeah, you want to take the sides, but some sides are bad to take, like these little corners, like right next to the corner, are generally bad. Um, and actually having the corner is like one of the best tiles to have. Um, 
yeah, take the sides and corners is really really my strategy. Mm, okay. and, and then don't go don't go in like A two or sorry B two or B seven. Like, don't go here or here or here or here. Pretty much ever. What's wrong with those spots? Uh, if the corner hasn't been taken yet, then that makes it a lot easier to grab the corner. See, like oh, like that. <laughs> as I was just saying, like don't do that. Uh, you did it. So I'm gonna try to try to get that corner. Um, so I think now there's nothing you can do to stop me. So are you gonna eventually implement the ability to really say to customize whatever color you want to be? Like the pieces? Yeah. Um, so that's not really super high on the radar right now. Um, so what I'm focusing on right now is, you know, um, good user experience. So there's there's some, I think, pretty critical things missing right now. Like, uh, it doesn't show you kind of the move history on the side, which is uh, pretty standard functionality. Uh, so that's a big thing that's missing. Um, the ability to review your games. So the re whenever you review your games, that, that, that's pretty limited right now. Um, having like kind of puzzles where you can uh, see like see kind of more like tactical ideas and practice um. Um, it's kind of big big on the radar um, making matchmaking work better uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff and yeah so another another kind of reason why I'm not crazy about the the pieces changing changing the like letting you customize that uh, I'm not opposed to it, but I guess right now I think it could be it could if it was done if it wasn't done well it could be really confusing because mm -hmm. when I when I designed the artwork I I tried to make each like game um, as visually distinct from other games as possible um, if that makes sense so like whenever you're look, glancing at a game it's like super obvious like which game it is and hopefully like which which side you're on so. I think if you allow that kind of customization, that could really blur those lines a lot, especially if you start introducing like variations to the game, where like uh, checkers, there's a oh crap, this is okay. I guess I can go over here. Um, in checkers, um, there's a lot of different variations where like we have the kind of American version where it's an eight by eight board, and whenever you capture, uh, you kind of capture. You, your, your king just like jumps over the piece and that's it. Um, there's like a oh man in, international draws, which is traditionally played on like a 10 by 10 board and the kings there or the, the regular pieces can jump backwards but the kings are really crazy where they actually, whenever they jump they can like fly infinitely in, a, in one direction. <laughs> so kind of like kind of like a queen in a way. Um, yeah. So I, I can make a bunch of moves because you don't have any moves. Um, so yeah. what I was thinking when I introduced <laughs> variations like that, um, I would have like different artwork, so so you could be able to tell like which variation it is from the artwork primarily. But then if you have those custom pieces, um, it gets really it can get really confusing. But you know maybe maybe there's a way around that. Um, I, I I definitely do like the ability to kind of personalize uh, yourself. So. Yeah, and I can totally see why I, that's, it wouldn't be a huge precedence, but yeah, not even just like, you know, having a rainbow or anything, just, you know, different shades of gray or black or mm -hmm. different tones of white. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like maybe kind of different shapes or something, yeah. Because one, one of the biggest things that I pay attention to when I'm playing, because I typically play on a lot of different screens, like anything from like an old cell phone to the brand new top of the line cell phone mm -hmm. computers. I'm I'm really big on my monitor and the proper colors. I see. Um, especially when I'm at work because you know I just it's just one of those things. <laughs> but that is often more than not discoloration when I swap screens, for example, like Discord is a huge example. I have that on everything I use that that has the ability to have it. And there's a clear distinction between when I'm reading it on my phone versus uh, my home computer versus my work computer. Cause my mm -hmm. home computer has uh, decent monitors with true color. Okay. And, um, but my Discord on my phone 
is even more clear because it's like you know the 14 super ultra wide resolution or whatever, but compact. So it's even more like true to the colors it should be. And this night and day between like some pictures that load, for example, like the pictures that I loaded in my my channel and um, showing my desk on my phone, it looks fantastic. I was just like, wow, this is amazing. Look at the mm -hmm. sunlight. And then I loaded up on my computer and it's all washed out. It was, like I couldn't see a lot of the color that I intentionally would capture. I see what so, you're saying. So, and this, yeah. this particular Borden.io, I have the same things. Like grays and whites on my computer are more washed out. On my phone, it's very clear. It's night and day. Okay. So because I do play yeah. a lot on my phone. So it's not that you. I guess you wanted to look. Uh, I think it's your move again. Because I don't have a you. I don't have a move. Um, oh, okay. So, are you saying that you, you, you not not that you wanted to look the exact same on all the screens? Because I guess it can't. It's just that on some displays, like some some elements don't work as well. Yeah, and then like if you could darken it yourself, or maybe even not change for both players, which is something that an mm -hmm. option that you had yourself. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, is are there any any is there any kind of art on here particularly that, that any kind of art art on here that works particularly poorly? It's like hard to see. Uh, well, this one, for example. Okay, that makes sense. Because yeah, it's, it's a lot. Well, of I think gray. it's more so the black borders around the white pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because that makes just like at a glance, if I look back at my screen real quick, I'm just like, oh, oh, wait, no, that's his piece. Yeah. I think uh, I think the the, the reverse -y art is what I'm the least happy with right now. Okay, so I'm kind of taking notes as, as we go through here. So reverse -y art looks. So if oh, I wait I... a few more seconds, it'll say that I'm away, so your streamers can see that. Uh, yeah, I can see that. And the no, idea is so far, is going well. Yeah. Uh, and the idea there is that you know if if you're playing with someone and then not looking at the screen, then it's not your turn why you don't need to waste your time waiting for them to do something that they're not going to do. Uh, Alright. Going back. Um... I am not very good at this game. This this game takes a lot more thinking. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's tricky. Um, actually, I think in the beginning of the game, this is this is really counterintuitive. But in the beginning of the game, I think the general strategy is to actually have fewer pieces, because what happens then is your opponent has much less options, much fewer options. Right, and you options. have more to take. Yeah. Uh, so I I know like super rudimentary strategy. Uh, that's kind of about it when it comes to reverse -y. Chess is definitely my best game on here. Because I've been playing that, uh, I guess, for about seven years. Great game. Um, and speaking of artwork, actually, the Connect 4 artwork on here, um, I'm the most, most happy with. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting screwed. <laughs> yeah, this is rough. Man, I'm yeah. terrible at this game. <laughs> you want redemption or try another game, or are you are you good for today? Uh, let's just show, I'm just kind of want to go through each one just to show people. All right, sweet. Uh, let's do four. Are you gonna try to challenge me, or should I should I challenge you again? Oh yeah, you should walk me through how to do that. Okay, uh, so if you okay. can go to my profile, uh, this is one way to do it. If you can go to my profile, however you want, like from the recent players mm -hmm. or favorites or you know from the game that we were just looking at, uh, you can click on my name. I did and it. And then it says. I did it. <laughs> yeah. Did you click on my name? And you're, are you there now? Yeah, it says that you're. So your URL should be boredom.io slash play slash map. That's another way. It says game. It says your oh, name. Oh, okay, okay. So you click on my name to get to the game, but in the game, click on my username to go to my like profile. 
I mean, I'm there, I think. Okay, so it's bottom.io slash play slash Matt, and then it says, like, challenge Matt. Oh, I just clicked on your name and said create game. Okay, and did you change the game? To... Okay, yeah, I think. No, this yeah, is... if I go to my homepage, it's... it says it requests sent to you. To Matt? Mm-hmm. Oh, play request. Yeah, uh, I'm, I wasn't. I wasn't seeing it right away because it's your turn. So it kind of it's more obvious when you move, and then it's my turn. So oh mm -hmm. right, and actually yeah. So the animations are messed up for this, but the pieces used to like <laughs> drop down and like bounce and looked really nice and all. But at that least you can get weird. a feel for the the artwork. Um, okay, and English day. I thought you were going to go in for sure. Wait, what? What, what did I miss? I would love to see you and a friend play that bomb diffuse game. It's like, keep talking. Oh, yeah, I have that. I even printed out manuals and got fancy binders and pens and notepads. I, I love that game. Oh, is that the one where you have uh, to, like, there's not any kind of real names for, like, the buttons and stuff, and you have to say, like, push the decomposer mm -hmm. and. <laughs> one person's trying to describe the bomb, the other person's trying to figure out the uh, instructions. Nice. And I always do that, too. I don't give them a chance to read the instructions. I'm just like, here's the binder, here's the book, here's a pen, here's a pad. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the games that I really liked playing uh, with, I guess, uh, random people is uh, Overcooked. You... That's a really good one, too. That one's stress-inducing, though. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, you, have to be, you have to know the person you're playing with well. <laughs> Or you won't know them very long afterwards. Right. So. So you didn't see it. Okay. Yeah. Oh gotta, no, I didn't see it. No. Keep an eye out for threats. Yes. Welcome back, Com. Hey yo, hey hi. Challenge. I'm getting challenged right now. I don't have time for that, Com. Sorry. Uh, Billy has declined the duel. Rip. Billy. Where are you yelling, Billy? All right. His new name is Billy, apparently. Hmm. We're just gonna go up. Oh, I can't. I can. Oh yeah. Well, you have to not click. Well, I guess I could enable that. Um, but right now you have to. Click I was. On I thought it was based on row. Yeah, it kind of is. Um, I guess I could enable that for. Because if I click like, I don't know. Let's try clicking right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh. Yeah, because obviously you click up here too, and it selects that. Oh, I think I know why. I think I know why I did that. No, so, clicking and taking spots. So this one's kind of this one's kind of nuanced, uh, and maybe people don't like the way that this is. But um, so a lot of players, I guess you know, like in Counter Strike, people have like the tick of like switching between their knife and gun and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. like people do these things a lot. Uh, what I've noticed uh, myself, and I've seen other people do, is that they like click on the board. Um, yeah, whenever, <laughs> and they'll move accidentally. Yeah, like they'll click on the board, like to like I guess maybe like try to like unfocus something. Uh, but if I if I had it where clicking on a piece would make you move, then clicking anywhere on the board would make a move. Uh, so mm -hmm. I thought that was a little too much. So that's why um, it's only clicking on like an open space that moves. And then, um, you know, if I if I had it where I. I I think there probably should be like a move indicator, like a little circle in the middle showing that like you can move there over the piece, which I don't think would look well, Look would look good. Oof. What if you had like just a really low key, like a uh, transparent line, like a blue glowing line that's really super transparent just behind the board, behind the pieces, so to speak. Just kind of indicating, it doesn't even have to sound like an arrow or anything, but just kind of indicating a direct, indicating a direction that piece was moved. Okay, but if, if also if it's behind the pieces, then you're not going to see it behind, uh, you're not going to see it if there are pieces there. I see. So instead of like little circle, just have a different where the move indicator instead of a little circle is just for the whole column, just stretches down. That's interesting. I've yeah, there's something that, that indicated the direction. It doesn't have to be like from here to here, or like a knight would be, oh, they took this exact L. No, it's just, they moved that direction. Yeah. Something really simple and low-key. That makes sense. Is it my... Uh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. 
Yeah, it's something I can play around with. Um, Connect Four actually is one of the. Oh, actually, I think I won here. Yeah, so I can force a win. You did. You did indeed. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Um, there's a game called A Way Out, which is like a story co-op, very cinematic. Mm -hmm. um, but at one point, you can go into this hospital, and there's a Connect Four board that's interactable and playable. Nice. But like, I just like little tokens of appreciation like that that Des will do. They'll just be like, oh, hey, look, just because, you know, there's magazines on the table, you can't pick this up and read them, but we're going to make it so you can play four. Yeah, or like uh, like the Turkey Puncher and Doom and <laughs> those yeah, kind yeah, of just like little things. Easter eggs, I guess. Yeah, I think, uh, what what is it, in, in Skyrim you can play, like, poker? Oh, or, the card game? Yeah, or I, I think Wait. there's, like... Actually, yeah, I was looking at a game called, like, Nine Men's Morris, and I think, yeah, there's, like, a Skyrim or some, so there's some, like, some game where you can actually play this, like, play the game inside of the, the game itself. Yeah. Um. Mm. It's looking dangerous. So Connect 4 is actually... Uh, kind of an exception to the rule that I had where, you know, I mostly have games on here that you can devote a lifetime to and master. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Connect, Connect 4 is actually... Uh, so, Connect 4 is... Uh, I think there's kind of like a set of rules that you can follow to play perfectly. Um, and for player one, it is a guaranteed win if you play perfectly. Um, and... That is so. In, in well, that's because they get to move first. Uh, not because they get to move first, but just just simply because of like the the way the game plays out. Um, that you can always, yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of like tic tac toe, uh, like that you've played. You you probably played that and realized that with perfect play, it's a draw. Mm -hmm. Um. So like, imagine I guess like tic tac toe. But instead of playing placing X's and O's, you just place X's. Both players place X's. Um, so, you know, if if you are player one and you place an X, and you place it in the middle, then your opponent has to go somewhere. Um, and then after they go, you just complete the row. You just complete the, the, the line of three. So, like, tic-tac-toe with... You guys, oh my god, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> so like Tic-Tac-Toga, if you guys are both placing X's, uh, with perfect play, for player one is a win. So is that, does that kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just, it's just kind of how the game plays out. So Connect 4, perfect play, it's a win. Do you guys want, do you want to play checkers for a couple games? Let's do one of these. Oops, wrong one. one of the, okay. Um... Yeah, so with, with Connect 4, Perfect Play, um, it's, it's a win for, for player one. Um, so that's not necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean the game isn't very, like, isn't worth playing. Um, so another thing for uh, people that I want to point out that are watching, mm -hmm. um, I play this on my phone quite regularly when I can. But um, I'm playing on browser, as you can see right now, and as I create these games or as he sends me requests, I actually get notifications on my phone, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. Because you don't get spammed with notifications. You literally just hit an update, oh, your opponent moved, or oh, somebody's challenging you. Yeah, yeah, and so... Sorry, go ahead. One game, you're not going to get a lot of notice unless you guys are going like, head-to-head -head and like speed playing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, so so uh, so the notifications right now only work for Android. Uh, if you, so, if you have Android, then then great. Um, we mm -hmm. do have an iOS app in the works, um, and could reasonably easily kind of get this to work on different platforms. Sorry, Windows Phone users, uh, probably not going to have a solution <laughs> in the near future or maybe ever. Well, um, if you're using a Windows Phone, then I highly suggest that you go save yourself and get a new one. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, so back to the notification. So I have I have strong opinions about this. Like I really 
think like notification notification fatigue is like a really bad problem uh, kind of in the last few years where you just get notified about everything you get like spam email and crap like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what I focused on 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 this app and I think that actually I can still do more work to make the notifications uh, easier to manage um, like snoozing them or maybe like I only want to get notified at this time of day um, things like that so I only provide actionable notifications so that means like some other person is waiting for you to do something. So that could be like make a move or accept a challenge. Uh, that's, that's, that's actually pretty much it right now. Um, or like a game ended and you can rematch. Um, so instead of like, hey, we haven't seen you in a while, come play with us. Or like, hey, have you seen this user? Um, uh, we might experiment with some things like that, but we'll be like, we'll definitely make sure to not be annoying. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so the the notifications are always actionable, um, not like words with friends where it will like ping you every day if you don't play. And other other things. I appreciate. Everything you just said because I hate notifications. <laughs> My phone is always going off. Right, I bet too. Yeah, and you probably get a lot from uh, from Discord with your community. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm way too many to mention. Mm -hmm. Most of them, like ninety percent of them, are muted though. Okay. Yeah, I, I've played around with that a little bit. Um, it's so it's I, the best feature ever. It's just like, oh, I really like this server, but I'm going to mute all these channels except one channel. Nice. So I actually I play a lot of Blitz uh, chess. So, like, low time controls where you only have a couple of minutes to play, so... Hmm. I think pretty comfortable, even though we're not really playing with time limits right now. I'll, I'll save my, my chess commentary for later. You castled like really <laughs> early, and that kind of threw me off. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I remember s similar moves. Hmm. All right. I'll play. You were not stupid just thinking about chests. <laughs> what? Nice things that I can add are like pre move. So like if you're gonna if I know you're gonna capture that I can like maybe move my knight here so that if you do make that move then my knight will capture. Um there's there's some kind of knight. But there is there. that already, isn't there? Uh like, pre move, move is not supported right now, no. I th I thought there was some points where it would come into a game and like it would have moved for me already in my Oh. Yeah, so that's uh, that's that's a different thing. So that's something that I haven't seen anywhere and I'm so surprised I haven't. Uh, so what happens is actually that whenever you make a move, whenever anyone is not online in a casual game, or o even away, um, and they only have one move to make, that move is made for them automatically, because there's not really much point in waiting for the player to make that move, just because like, there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no choice to make. So I make that for you automatically. Uh, so then you don't have to wait, and then you can make your move again. And that actually happens quite a bit in checkers. Um, mm -hmm. um, and it happens in chess as well, yeah. and of course it happens somewhat in really pretty much every game on here. Yeah, drop the rook. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm talking too, because I didn't even realize your queen was being attacked by the pawn. I am really bad at playing and talking at the same time. I was like, oh, then man. I should talk more. Yeah, I was like, oh man, I'm playing so well. I'm five <laughs> I want to win. I'm just going to keep distracting you. Five points up. I, I captured your rook. Great. Yeah. And then I blunder your, your queen. So like, yeah, That's okay. Like, she, <laughs> she thanks for you for your hard work. Right. Yeah, there's, there's like some, some quote that's like, whenever you find a good move, look for a better one. Yeah, I need to, I need to keep that in mind. Well, you are definitely playing Blitz. You're putting a lot of pressure on me. Four pieces. Hmm. All right. 
so now that I am up quite a bit in material, I am just going to trade down. That should work well. Even if you went a pawn here, I don't really mind that. Oh. Again. Yeah. yeah. All right. You're punk. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can checkmate you in a reasonable amount of time. Never. Mm. I want to activate my queen. Oops. I think your queen's happy where she is. She she could be a lot happier. Nah. I'll take that. Oh, and yeah, you you your bishop was saying. <sighs> great, great gameplay. have that if you want. Thanks, you're so generous. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm glad to hear the mobile version is working working for you and the notifications have been manageable. Yeah, they really are. Well, I mean All right. two moves and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Pendles upon run. So Chrono Rub just, just commented on uh, my my thoughts on adding go to the game. Yeah, it's um, it's a it's an it's an amazing game, and if if I can think of a way to add it, I absolutely would. Uh, but right now, I think I I I think just because of how complicated the game is, and there's no way to tell who's winning or to you know just have the site say like you won, congratulations, without them just playing hundreds of moves. Uh, I think I I don't see how it can work out right now. But I'll, I'll I guess I can continue to play. Because other other sites have kind of I guess thought through this problem themselves too, so I can Rip. see how other people have handled it. But yeah, Go Go is a great game. Um, often Go players look down on pretty much every well. Not, I'm yeah, not going to say often. I don't want to make over generalizations. Uh, but yeah, like Go players some can can look down on other games. Um, all right. Uh, Cool. So is that is that good for today? I think. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed the games, and once again, everybody, all you got to do is go to boredom.io. Really, that's all you got to do. Yeah. And yeah, if you want to play me, I'm I'm down to play really anytime. Uh. So on my stream, you can see there's a boredom.io slash play slash mat. Uh, you can challenge me. Once again, I'm the founder. I've been working on this for off and on, uh, now on, uh, but you know since 2011. Happy to play, happy to chat whenever, um, and yeah. Well, thank you very much, Matt. I do appreciate the games. It's been a pleasure, and I will for sure be challenging you some more. 
now that I have you favorited, I can be like, yeah, I'm going to play this guy. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, I sent you a picture of the Chinese solitaire I was talking about. All right, sweet. I'll check that out. It's not something you would play with other people, but right. <laughs> solitaire. even just having it as an option, in my opinion, would be really fun. Hmm. Yeah. This, this is something that I have like a physical copy of, a physical port of, and I, I'll sit down while I'm at my desk or something at home, and if I'm just watching a movie or something, I'll just fiddle with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Going through like the single player games is really interesting. I haven't, I haven't thought much about how that could work out. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll play the, I'll play, I'll play around with the game and see what I think. Cool. All right, everybody. As stated, Matt from Boredom.io. Chess, checkers, reverse, uh, toffel, and four? Uh, connect four. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are all here available? Stats, cool thing. You can be a hardcore player. You can be a casual player. I don't know if you saw all the options when I was creating a game of um, what was possible. It looks like you got two and one, three and two, five and five. So these are time constraints. Mm -hmm. you choose the game. Choose. You can actually choose what side you start on. That's kind of cheap. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can add um, like a rad random option. <laughs> and then, of course, you got statistics of the wazoo. I know a lot of people who play uh, competitively will want to be able to see these. I really like this pie chart right here that just kind of shows what he plays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but go ahead and sign up. Play me, because I am always on this as well. As stated, it is on mobile. It's on, well, it's on your browser on mobile, as well as desktop, PC, laptop, tablet, anything else really, except for actual applications, which are coming. Yeah, yeah. On that note. Hmm? Uh, yeah, and also, you know, if you're interested in getting into the kind of the alpha program for the iOS or Android app as they get developed, you know, you can reach out to me on here. Uh, I'm on, I'm, my name is Matt on Boredom, so. Can he is also a member of our treehouse, everybody, if you're not aware. If you were looking for him, just ping him in there and be like, yo, bro, what's going on? Let's play. That's what it's for. Yeah, so. should, should be easy to find. Other than that, I'm going to take off. We're going to take a quick break. Once again, thank you for joining us. Come play with us. Um, I'm going to go make some tea and stuff, and then we're going to switch over to another game. Thanks for joining, man. All right. Thanks, man. Oh, and he has a Twitter. Make sure you follow the Twitter. Boredom underscore IO. Yeah, that's, that's, that's us too. Great. And uh, I'll, I guess I'll address some, some more messages in my chat, assuming that that stream's over. Uh, so, yeah. Corona Rob suggested Online Go. I'll be sure to check that out too. I, I may have checked that out in the past, but I'll look at it again. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll be I'll be putting this on YouTube as well. So if you guys want to, for some reason, look back at these games, uh, can see it. But yeah, looking to stream fairly regularly, uh, gameplay, and then kind of the feedback sessions where we actually will spend more time kind of talking. That'll be the main focus, like talking about the site and what we can change, and what works and what doesn't. Um, that'll be the main focus instead of kind of the the gameplay as it was today. So. Uh, so that's that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Um, I'll see you guys around.